Mario Delmar deserves the Distinguished Scientist Award of the Heart Rhythm Society for his outstanding contributions to cardiac electrophysiology. His contributions are many, particularly to the understanding of the molecular and cellular mechanisms of intercellular communication and cardiac impulse propagation, and the molecular mechanisms responsible for lethal arrhythmias in patients with arrhythmogenic right ventricular cardiomyopathy. Mario is universally rec recognized as a world leader in basic and translational arrhythmology. His laboratory is a clear example of one that fosters a culture of multidisciplinary research spanning from fundamental mechanisms to clinical applications using the most advanced technology and rigorous scientific inquiry. This is evident by his recent contributions in the study of molecular mechanisms of cardiac arrhythmias linked to mutations in cardiac desmosomal proteins in which he applied structural biology, proteomics, and super resolution microscopy to come up with some of the most interesting hypotheses in, on the subject. Mario's vision of research drives from his conviction that collaborative research is the best approach toward success in the current environment. This is amply demonstrated by his participation throughout the years as a project leader in multiple NIH program project grants and as a US leader of the currently active Leduc Translational Network of Excellence on the sodium channel as a therapeutic target for the prevention of lethal cardiac arrhythmias. In short, I know of no one else that would be more deserving of this award than Mario Delmar. His accomplishments are something that make those of us who know him well extremely gratified. Dear Mario, I am really proud of you. My only regret is not being able to present this award to you in person. I send you my warmest regards and my whole, wholehearted congratulations. Thank you very much, Pepe, for your kind introduction. I am grateful for your words, but more than anything, for your 37 years of friendship and unconditional support. Pepe has been my mentor through every stage of my career. For all these years, we have been colleagues, collaborators, friends, partners in crime, and above all, I consider Pepe my brother, from different genomes. Thank you to the Heart Rhythm Society for this award, but also for the very first award of my career, the Kenneth Rosen Fellowship, which I received in the late 1980s from then NASPI. I thank everyone at HRS who has led this society through the years to become the outstanding place which it is today. I also want to thank NYU and its leadership for their unconditional support. I am very privileged to work in a place that supports research as a priority. This award belongs to many people, my teachers and collaborators, but especially all students and postdocs that have embraced the themes of our lab and have provided their hard work and enthusiasm so that together we share the excitement of seeing a narrative unveiling in front of our eyes. And of course my family, to my parents and my siblings for always being there. You are a constant source of support, laughter and happiness. David and Andrea, you fill me with pride and joy. The generosity of your hearts illuminates many and certainly illuminates me. To my little daughter Mara, constant source of amazement, laughter and pure love. And of course to my wife, Marina. You keep my feet on the ground when my head goes too far up on the clouds. But at the same time we have built dreams together. Life has been very generous to me and you are a wonderful gift that I have received from life. Thank you again to HRS, to every person that nominated me, to the support that I have received through the years, 
and to everyone that has crossed the path of my life. Thanks.